Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone, this is Deb Chanel's 48 Squirrel. And we're kicking off a video with Portia and Candy. And Portia is wanting to come back because Candy said so. So is Candy going to bring Portia back? Well, we just have to wait and see. <laughs> this is getting good. But I didn't pull it out of my ass. I got it from a reliable source. It came from E Online or Entertainment Tonight, I guess. All right. We have Brett. Spencer, working together, dual couple on this particular article. It says, with Portia Williams return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Atlanta Candy Burr says, okay? Let's see what Candy Burr says, because you know, she's a golden child. They look up to her and they um, take her, what do you call it, recommendations um, very seriously. So... It goes on to say, Candy Burris just gave Real Housewives of Atlanta fans hope for former co-star Portia Williams' possible return to the series. Find out why she revealed about Portia's thoughts on a comeback. Now, y'all always say, uh, it's always coming out of candy mouth, that she don't have no pool. She can't tell nobody they hire or they fire. And she damn sure can't be bringing people back on the show. Well, we know that's bullshit. Because she brought Kenya back on the show. Okay? So, yeah. If you could get Cynthia Bailey back on the show, you would do that for her too. But Cynthia's gone on to the promised land, honey. She's trying to do some acting on Lifetime. And I got a story to bring out on her too. I just got to get it together. So, she's doing real well. So, we don't want her to come back to this, how Phaedra Park said, the Titanic sinking, okay? Meaning, Real Housewives of Atlanta. But anyway, we go back to the article. Could Portia Williams Peach ever make a comeback? Candy Burris is weighing in on her former, the Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star, possibly returning to the hit Bravo series and giving fans hope she might not be gone for good. I know why she ain't gone for good. Because that he could have had Flipper Father Time, a.k.s. Papa Smurf, is just not working out. And I don't think Bravo really want to see her with Father Time anymore. Because for one, he's boring. He never lets us know about his life outside of running out the Porsche, of course. But it's too much. Y'all see them shoes? There's no shoes on that man's feet. That's why I was just being joking. Joking with that. He has no shoes on, guys. Who does that? You're going to have a full-fledged suit on, but you're going to have your feet out. Like, make it make sense. I cannot. I've been trying to make it sense for a whole year of Portia fooling around with this man. Cannot make it make sense. All right? And that is my other channel. So, go on over there and watch out those videos. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and you share it. Okay? But yeah, for all the time, he doing the same shit over him that he did over at his house. You know how he be acting like he's doing work at his desk and ain't shit going on. And shit ain't really going on for us. It's like whoever took those optics, they shouldn't have took that picture because that made him look even stupider sitting at that table without any shoes on. But he got on a full-fledged suit. Now, how is he getting comfortable? How is he getting comfortable? Because most people, when they getting comfortable, they taking off the clothes that... You know, just really restricts them from being comfortable. You see what I'm saying? He would have did better in his night clothes and then his feet would have been out. But, like I said, it's neither here nor there. I just had to bring that in him uh, on this video because I forgot to put it on the other one. But, anyway. Yeah, honey. I don't know if Portia 
uh, contacting Candy or Candy contacting Portia. It would probably be the more the uh, first one rather than the latter one, I said. But going back to the article, it says there's always going to be room for Portia. Candy exclusively told E! News at the Critics' Choice Real TV Awards on June 12th. I honestly think she does think about it sometimes. She definitely said it to me that it does cross her mind. So, I mean, I don't know. She can make a comeback at any moment. Oh, so Candy, you're going to open up the door, girl. You're going to say the door is open and say the door is closed to Nene. Good girl. Go on with your bad self, girl. Go on with your bad self. Going back to the author, because since after 10 years on the show, Portia left Real Housewives of Atlanta in September 2021, saying in a statement that it was time to begin my next chapter and calling the choice a difficult decision. Well, baby, what's so difficult about it? Other than you tried to find out that, and you probably found out, your husband, or soon to be husband, glorified boyfriend in my book, ain't got what he said he had, girl. Did you get a peek of the checkbook? Did you look at the finances? And it was so hitting in them thousands instead of millions. And now you want your job back. You want to come back and act a fool on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the wretched TV show that we cover. Girl, I thought you had grew up. I thought you had got seasoned with the money of a millionaire mm-hmm. if it wasn't bet- if it wasn't for that girl sitting in the middle Shamil letting y'all have an olive branch to one another it probably would be dead mute never afterthought okay but since you have Shamil in the middle and she's friends with both of you all she probably done told Candy you need some money you need your job back is it possible <laughs> And then you got Candy Bird saying, oh, yeah, anything's possible. If I give my uh, stamp of approval, yeah, she'll be back like it ain't nothing. Okay, like it's golden. Like she's dripping with gold. But, girl, you're going to have to come back and fight with Kenya. Now, that would be the piece de resistance because she would be waiting for your ass as well as Nene Head. Okay? Yes, she will. She'll be ready to put back on that villain outfit. And I'm like, I can't blame her because I'll be wearing y'all out too. I will be wearing y'all out. Like, why did you drop two lucrative jobs? And it's all because of your messed up fiance. You want to call him, but we want to call him for all the time. That pretty much... Fits him better. Or aka Papa Smurf. Because that's just some stupid ass shit. I don't know why. Who idea was it for him to be sitting under this. Looking like he ain't doing nothing. Where's the computer? Just tell me. I, where's the computer? Okay. He need to be click clack click 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 click. And sending messages. Emails. Checking messages. Checking emails. That's what he need to be doing. But he playing with that phone. He probably playing with some guy. Um, what do you call it? No. She probably looking at some reel you made for him. Because he don't know how to make a reel. He probably don't even know how to use the phone. Okay. That's for all the time we talking about. He probably just need a flip phone is what he need. But he gonna fake and have the phone. And want one of those Androids. Or it could be an Apple phone. I don't know. Okay. But we know he's not savvy. And Portia's putting everything on his Instagram. Along with everything on his social media. And when he she don't. He don't go about what she tells him to do. Then there's trouble in paradise. Okay. But anyway. That's my sidebar. <coughs> Moving on from that, let's see here. It says, um, since her announcement, Portia has been busy planning her wedding to fiancé glorified boyfriend Simon Gobadia. After the couple starred on their own Bravo spinoff, Portia's Family Matters, which aired in between Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13 and the current airing season of season 14. And I'm surprised they even brought that up in this particular uh, interview or article they wrote up. Because that's some bullshit. That was really, truly some hurtful bullshit that Portia did to not only her family, but uh, her dad's side of the family and how she did her ex-baby daddy. Okay, that was pure fuckery right there. But anyway, ending up the uh, conversation we had in this article, it says, Candy responded telling E, I don't really have... 
much to say about Phaedra. We're not on a show together anymore. We haven't been in a minute. So I just look at it like I don't really get paid to care about what she thinks. Now, is that some shade? But we know Phaedra threw some shade at Candy when he was on the William when the Williams show with guest host Michael. I don't think his name is Michael Rappaport or something like that. Anyway, and so she took her digs that way, saying Candace on a sinking ship, meaning the Titanic, and she's going to be uh, sailing along in her yacht over there at the Dubai uh, party they having over there at the Real Housewives of Dubai, okay? And she said she had a house over there. I said, okay, girl, okay, girl, you want to go over there? I don't know. I don't know if the boy's going to be able to come over there with you unless you give Apollo six six months over here in the States and then six months over there with you in Dubai because that don't look like that's going to be. And if Portia done took her little red behind over there, okay, if she done took her ass over there to Dubai thinking she's going to pull PJ over there for six months to a year while she call herself taping Oh, no, 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 no. She's going to have a hell of a fight to get that situation squared away. Because that's just ain't going to happen. Dennis is not going to let his baby girl go over to another country. Okay? Not going to happen. So, I wonder how you going to wrangle up and naggle that girl. Portia, stay your ass over here in the States and get something popping again. All right, you didn't leave in a bad way with uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta or Bravo. You better be getting what it gets good because for Nene tried to, which, you know, hey, that's another whole different horse of, of a different color. And we don't know how she's going to prevail with that situation. So they might not be paying you your salary that you think you're going to get that you had left when you left. Okay. Now, I don't think that's going to be a situation. You probably have to start over on ground floor zero. Okay. Marlo will probably be making more money than you. But say, hey, you sat and left because Bravo was giving you a spinoff show or sh a show with one episode. Or probably it could have been 10 episodes. But you failed miserably by side swiping your family members and not giving them the juice that they needed to be able to withstand being on a reality show okay you bamboozled everybody who with everybody on your dad's side of the family as well as your side of the family and quiet as it's kept loud so i'm gonna speak it out girl one thing's for certain and two things for sure they don't like you Porsche. <laughs> Girl, they don't like you. So I don't know where you're coming from. Now, if you want to come back into the, the den, okay, if you want to come on back over there, well, uh, definitely Marlo going to have you for breakfast. Kenya going to have you for lunch. And then Candy might have you for supper. But, honey, if you want to get sliced up three different ways, that's cool. I'm here for the drama. Just as long as you don't put no hands on nobody, then you might be looking at an assault charge. Because they already done told you a couple of times to keep your hands to yourself. But things like that. Things of that nature, you tend to forget because you're seeing red. You're all enraged. So, I don't know how to, we'll see. We'll see if Miss Kenya will uh, co-sign what Candy is trying to do by bringing Portia back. And whether it will happen or not, I think 98.9%. We'll get her back on the show because she damn sure need the money. And if she got to come back on the show as a regular cast member. Ain't no sense in her marrying uh, Father Time. Because that means he didn't bring nothing to the table that she could use as a storyline. She needs to just end it, end it, end it. Because if he got the same amount of money she got, I don't see how they going to make it. Because she likes spending money. Okay? And he likes spending money too. Because he like to rent shit. Everywhere he goes, it's something rented. It ain't something he owns. But anyway, that's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all liked it. Love it. And I will be calling it a night. All right. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.